Hello guys! So, last time you saw me, you guys were left off with a slight bit of a cliffhanger. Yeah, I, I bought a sublimation printer and I bought, I also bought a, a, a heat press. It wasn't an impulse decision, I know it probably came across that way. When I was talking about maybe thinking about a sublimation printer and then said, ha I'm joking. I was joking and then I kept thinking about it after I turned off the camera for like a few days after that. And then it wasn't until like a week later of doing loads of research and just honestly, I was like staying up till midnight most nights just researching about doing sublimation for cups and stuff like that. Eventually I bought one, so that's where we are right now. I know that changes a lot of things for this business loan. It was a lot, a lot of money. However, I think it's the best course of action because I was gonna spend my money on stock that I could honestly afford. I know the tote bags and pencil cases and stuff were really expensive for me, but a lot of the other stock that I was planning on buying is stock that I could just save up for and afford on my own. I started thinking about it more and more and I was like, when am I ever going to get the next, like another chance like this to buy a sublimation printer or a printer that I can use for sublimation and also buy a heat press and also buy all of like the cut blanks and stuff. That's gonna cost so much money. And it did, it cost a lot of money, but when am I gonna get that chance again? And it kind of clicked with me like, do I want to use my business loan for things that I could potentially just afford without the business loan? Things such as washi tape. I couldn't afford to buy both those machines and all of the blanks and the ink, the sublimation ink and the paper. Like that is too much for me to afford on my own. I would take years to get that chance again. I honestly kept thinking about it. It took me probably about a week and a half and I finally just came to the conclusion, you know what, I'm gonna go for it. Maybe it's the right thing, maybe it's the wrong thing. I personally think it's the right thing. I'm very excited for this. I think it's a really good use of my money, especially the sublimation printer, because now I have the sublimation printer, I can also buy like not just a mug heat press, I can buy the, the you know, the other heat press, the one that pushes down so you can make things like tote bags and coasters and mouse pads, like these machines are big investments and they're investments that are going to see me through the next few years and I can make so many products with them. I, I do think this was the right way to go with it. So yeah, part two is gonna be a little different than what I thought it was gonna be. It's actually gonna be a lot of me making my own product and opening my machine. Still waiting for my inks and my, I had to get some like butcher paper and stuff. One exciting thing though that I'm excited to share with you guys, I finally got my tote bags in my pencil cases. So I'm gonna insert a clip of me opening them right here. <laughs> I'm um, pretty sure this is my tote bags and pencil cases. It's smaller than I thought it would be for what I ordered, so that's worrying, but it does seem like it's filled to the brim. I am terrified right now. I'm so scared. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. It's just opening, seeing it for the first time. I'm like, what if they don't look that good? What if I'm not happy with them? Like, I know some of you are thinking, Abby, stop being so dramatic, okay? But. <laughs> It's just who I am. It's so scary. I have never made an order this big and this, I guess you could say risky because it was so expensive. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm making the first cut. Oh God, it's, it really wrapped it tight. I'm so scared, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Oh my gosh. I didn't think I'd feel like, like this when I got the order. I didn't think I'd feel like as nervous, I guess. Oh, okay, one side's open, but I don't wanna, Look, yes, I need like, get this side open first. Oh my God, well, you know, okay, here we go. Come a bit closer. <sighs> okay, oh my God. <sighs> I'm so scared right now, I'm so scared. It was just a lot of money, it's fine. It's not a big deal, just have, just open it. Okay, the first thing I'm seeing is bubble wrap. I'm seeing some pencil cases. camera that would go so this is the ghost design pencil case this 
is the Cottagecore Crosshatch Design Pencil Case. And this is the Pastel Witch Pencil Case. I have pencil cases! <laughs> oh my gosh. I wanna look at the tote bags now. I, I wanna look at the tote bags. Okay, first of all, I haven't seen the designs yet. The tote bags feel really good quality. Like, they are really good tote bags. They feel really thick and durable. Okay, first one, first one. Quality is so good. I see the mushroom one. Oh, oh. That, I'm sorry, that is beautiful. It's double sided by the way, this one. The dog one isn't, this one is double sided. This might be my new favorite thing on the shop. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It's so pretty, it's so cute. Okay, those are the mushroom ones. Now I just need the cat ones. Wait, that was a cat one. <gasps> no! <gasps> the cat one. Oh my gosh, the cat one. <gasps> I love the cat one. Oh my gosh. I have tote bags and pencil cases and I love them. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I really, really like these tote bags. So here they are, all three of them. This is the dog one. This is the cat one, and this is the mushroom one. The dog one is the only one that isn't double-sided, but I think that was the right choice for this design in particular. Let me just, so you guys can see, there's the dog one, super cute. You guys already saw the cat one and the mushroom one. Oh my God, I, I think the mushroom one might be my favorite. <laughs> I think it might actually be my favorite. You know? I am so happy with these. The colors are so vibrant and I actually think they really do match what I saw on the screen. My pencil cases. <laughs> First of all, I haven't actually took any of them out of the sleeves, so I'm gonna do that now. This design, I was worried that it wouldn't, it would come out really dull because on my computer, it was looking really dull. I think this is so vibrant. Let me get a little close up with that. Look at that, it's a really good size as well, like, look, look at that, whoa. I love it, I love it, it's so good, oh my god. Okay, the pastel witch one, I really like it, I really, really like it, I think it's so cute. Any pastel witch girlies out there, what, what, what do you think, do you like, do you like? I think the liner is a bit darker than I thought thought it would be. I didn't intend for it to look that dark on the final product. It didn't look that dark on the screen, but that's not, again, not really a big deal. I think it looks really good still. I think it actually kind of matches the theme a little bit, but I think it's really, really cute. Weirdly enough though, I thought this would be my favorite, but when I saw them all side by side, I think this is my favorite. <laughs> My cottage core cross hatch. I'm sorry, look, look at this. Do you not feel the need to put your makeup or your pencils and pens in here? Hmm? I am so happy with all of these. I can't wait to start selling them. I don't know how well they're gonna sell. It's gonna be a whole new experiment. It's gonna be a whole new adventure. I don't know how well they're gonna sell on Etsy and I don't know how well they're gonna sell at the market stalls, but Either way, it's exciting to have them and I just can't wait to get them on my market stalls, on my Etsy shop. I'm just, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. <laughs> As you guys know, I made a few purchases, big, big purchases with my business loan. Obviously, it's not just a case of like having the machines, I need the stuff to go with it. So I've been doing so much research these past few days, like these past week really. I've gotten the inks, I've gotten the paper, I've gotten everything I could possibly need except the cups, the mugs and stuff. So here they are on Amazon. These are the cheapest. These are 12 here and I thought, I didn't really want like mugs but they are quite cheap. 
and I thought like if they're a pack of 12 that gives me like an excuse to like practice with these ones at least like I don't need 12 mugs you know but if I get them then it means I have like I'd probably say about five or six times to like just test it trial doing sublimation on cups and then these two I've got some frosted glasses and some skinny tumblers these are expensive as you can tell this is currently on offer but this one isn't and it's so expensive oh my god there's only eight in each of them so this is a lot this is a lot I now have 110 pounds left in my business loan Wow, it's just, wow. I think it's just scary because I didn't plan for my business loan to go this way, so I'm just a bit like, I don't know. <laughs> did I do the right thing? I don't know, I feel like I did, but it's really scary, but we'll have to see how it goes. Hello guys, so you're probably wondering what I'm doing here. We had these old drawers that we were gonna throw away. They're really old, but I very quickly realized I'm gonna need some more surface area and also more storage space if I'm going to get these new machines and I need the drawers so I can put all of the cups and stuff into. It's a place to just hold them and keep them safe. So first what I did was I gave it a really good scrub. I bleached it and then I went in with some spray paint and I spray painted the whole thing. Just kind of give it a little bit of a touch up a little bit of a refresh I also decided to clean up my workspace area you may notice that my living room has changed around a little bit my printer is in a different area I actually <laughs> me and my mum got rid of a sofa so I'd have more space for my small business because I really really needed it for these machines so I have a lot more space downstairs to do things like sublimation and printing out and I have a little corner now and it's actually kind of cute I was pretty happy with how it turned out these are my cups for my sublimation stuff um, my mug presses and everything um these are just regular mugs these are tumblers um, I'm probably gonna put them because they're they're all individually boxed as you can see in here like each tumbler each mug They're all individually boxed. So I think I'm gonna take them out of these boxes put them like down here I'm gonna try and get some vinyl for like the bottom part of the um, The drawers so it's just like a little bit more protected. It's looking a little bit out of the space So here it is here is everything um, I'm still gonna figure it out. I'm not really happy with like having these here. The chair is there I don't think I'd ever really use it, but it's it's there. It's whatever I'm still gonna try and figure this out mess around with it a bit more I still have my heat press coming as well So I'm probably gonna leave this on here on top of here my printer And I'm gonna see if my heat press can just go on here as well as like somewhere to keep them and then leave my other printer over there. My small business is definitely outgrowing this house, which is a good thing, but also it's a nightmare because I don't know where to put anything. <laughs> I can't wait to like eventually be able to like move out and have my own studio like room. That would be the best day ever. That would be honestly everything I could hope for. <laughs> yep, that's where I am. So I kind of left you guys on a cliffhanger last time um, with the whole getting a sublimation printer and a heat press. <laughs> And now I'm actually gonna open up the machines and I'm actually gonna start with not the printer because it's just a printer. I wanna see the heat press. You guys got teased a little bit in the last video when I opened it up briefly and showed you guys. I'm very excited for it. Oh. So I'm gonna open this up. It's so weird that I have one of these now, honestly. I haven't even opened it, but I'm already in disbelief that I have one. <laughs> I just never thought that I'd have this kind of stuff until like at least like three to four years into my business and here I am 11 months into my business almost a full year now and I've already got one so that's really awesome actually heat resistant gloves I'm glad it came with these because I really um, didn't want to buy these separately um, I think this is heat resistant tape now for the actual machine oh god I just smells like the ocean for some reason. <laughs> like, I'm smelling a lot of sea salt, but I don't know why. <laughs> okay, here it is. My heat press, my mug heat press. Cute. Oh, 
I'm gonna read all of this later because I actually don't have any ink to do this yet. I'm still waiting on the sublimation ink to arrive. I just wanted to unbox this now and kind of get it set up so when the ink arrives I can jump straight into it and get started with the mug, the mug pressing, the heat pressing and stuff. If you could see behind this camera, you'd see how many boxes are in this room currently. At least my cats are having a good day with it. <laughs> They're loving the boxes. <laughs> uh, okay, there she is, the Epson Eco Tank. It's a, it can be converted into a sublimation printer. It's not technically a sublimation printer, but it can be converted. It also came with a crap ton of ink <laughs> that I can't use, <laughs> and I couldn't get the print out without getting the ink as well. So I actually have a whole lot of ink that I can't, I can't use basically. <laughs> they said if you want to convert this into a sublimation printer, like I've watched a lot of videos and everyone said if you're converting the Epson Eco Tank into a sublimation printer, do not use these, like don't. I don't know if these go off, yeah, like 20, well that's before 2027. I suppose if I got another Epson Eco Tank at some point just for like prints and stickers and stuff, which I do plan to do. If it doesn't go off until 2027, I suppose I can keep these. Who would have guessed I would have gotten another printer for my business? Not even like, less than, it's been less than a year. It's still only been like 11, 10, 11 months since I got my first printer. And now here I am with a second printer. <laughs> Wouldn't have believed that if I told myself that like 10 months ago that I'd be getting a second printer. Mostly because I didn't think I'd need one. <laughs> So the reason why I want a second one of these printers, I might even consider selling this printer and getting another one of these. The reason why, this sold me, this holds about 75 cartridges of ink, so it, it lasts a long, long time. I am constantly spending money on ink, it's so expensive. So these bottles, you could get a pack for I think about 70 pounds, that sounds like a lot, but they last a long, long time. I get the cartridges currently and they last, I don't know, maybe a couple of months. <laughs> they, they go down so fast and they cost like 54 pounds anyway for a box of the cartridges. So these, this is going to come out a lot, lot cheaper. Like my art prints and stuff, they're going to cost a lot less money to make if I got another one of these for my art prints and stuff. But this one is going to be a sublimation printer, but I am going to keep these inks because I do plan to get another eco tank in the future. Hopefully soon, hopefully before 2027 so I can use these inks in particular. Hello guys, it is a very dark and cold rainy day here in Britain, but... I have some really good news. As you guys know, I had pretty much everything for my sublimation stuff apart from the inks and the butcher paper. And guess what came yesterday? I got the inks and I got this massive roll of butcher paper down here. And this morning I woke up and I measured out the cups, um, got my canvases ready in Photoshop and I put a few designs on the canvases as well, just getting a few designs I've already made that I wanted to use for these cups. Now I'm setting up my printer. So I just put in the sublimation ink. Here it is, that's, that's sublimation ink right there. So this, this can no longer be a regular printer, it will always be a sublimation printer. The one thing that annoys me is that it, it didn't go all the way to the top there. That's very annoying. Um, they are only 100 milliliter bottles. I'm hoping it doesn't run out that quickly. Now that I've put my sublimation ink in there, it can no longer be a regular printer. This is a full sublimation printer. I probably screwed the warranty and everything now. <laughs> so <laughs> this is what's going on today. I don't know how far I'm gonna get with this. I would like to at least have maybe one cup or like at least test a cup or two with this. It is really early still, it's like 10 o'clock, half 10 or something. Um, so I'm gonna continue setting up my printer and then hopefully get some sublimation stuff done. I would at least like to attempt two cups today. Mugs, um, I'm gonna be trialing the mugs first because they were the cheapest to buy in and the other cups, the skinny tumblers and the glass cans are really expensive and I do not want to waste too many of them if I can help it. Obviously they're gonna be different sizes, it's gonna be trial and error with even if I try the mugs first, they're different sizes, they're different materials. It is gonna be trial and error, which is a little scary, but I often find when things are scary, that it's scary for a reason. It's something really big and it's something that could really grow my business. So I'm gonna continue setting up this printer and I'll get back to you in a little while. 
actually this is pretty good um i think i need to fill this one up a bit more but these actually all got filled up fully and I still have a little bit of ink left in the bottom there so that's really good. These weren't actually that much more expensive than the cartridges I get from my other printer. They were like, they weren't offer, I think they were like £60. These are the Hippo Epson Eco Tank Sublimation inks. I um, heard really good things about them, did a lot of research into them. They're specifically for the eco tanks, so that's really good. Okay, so it's a little bit later on now. The, the printer setup took me a little longer than I thought it would. I, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little hesitant, honestly, with this. I feel like I've set up the printer now, I've had lunch, there's no, there's no more procrastination like it's gonna be we're gonna be making the cups and I'm really really scared there's a lot of steps and there's a lot to learn so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna watch a couple more tutorials a couple more advice like do's and don'ts videos and then I'm going to give it a go a single clue if that is right I mean the sizing was right and everything but because I trimmed it before I uh, printed it out which seemed to be what a lot of people were doing I don't know if it's gonna print out correctly I've never printed out a size that small before usually I just print things on A4 and then trim them maybe that's the way I should try it but I'm really scared but <laughs> I'm never gonna know if I don't try okay um, it's doing it We'll see what happens. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, this is what I was worried about. So in the software Photoshop, I had it on portrait, but it, it was like, it was this side round and it looked fine. And then when I put it on landscape, it was like this. It looked like this. I don't know <laughs> what that's about. We'll figure it out, it's fine. We got this, we'll fix it. <laughs> this time it did it the other way. Like it was printing the right way. It was printing really well and then, <laughs> and then I just gave up halfway through. So I'm gonna figure this out and I'll get right back to you guys. Okay, so the tutorial I was following was telling me to cut it out first and then put it like, and then put it through the printer but it really was not working with my printer so I just put two of them on an A4 document and uh, printed them out so I'm gonna do the cutting afterwards. This is sublimation printer. I did try it on regular paper before I tried it on the sublimation printer because I don't want to waste paper, you know? So now I'm going to cut this up and then that's it. That's pretty much ready. I'm ready to make my mugs now. I just have to <laughs> cut these up. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Okay, so that is perfect sizing in my opinion. I think that's really good. Obviously there's a little gap there where the handle is. Okay, so the one thing that I've learned so far from watching all these tutorials is that you have to like make sure it's perfectly straight and you have to make sure it's incredibly tight. Like you have to pull it as tight as you possibly can. Okay, that's really blurry. Come on camera, there you go. We've got our first piece of heat resistant tape on there. Gonna get some more on there now. I don't know how much heat tape I should use, I just know it should be a lot because <laughs> it really, it's not allowed to move like at all, like you need to make sure it's fully pressed down and fully firm which makes complete sense so I'm just gonna cover this in heat resistant tape. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go through my little manual that they gave me, which is really helpful. It has like all the temperature settings and everything and just everything I need to know, I think, with the timing setting and all this stuff. Ceramic slash glass mugs. We needed it at 329 Fahrenheit and time 90 seconds. Okay, so I think it's time to go try this heat press. Okay, so. I wrapped this thing in butcher paper. I saw a lot of people um, not putting butcher paper on it, but then I saw some people putting butcher paper on them. So I just thought better safe than sorry. So I wrapped it in butcher paper. It's mostly just to protect the machines. I do need to turn it on still and heat it up, but I just tested it out by like clamping it shut. It's hard to do one handed. 
One thing I'm noticing immediately is I think I might have put the design too far close to the handle because I don't think it closes enough. There's quite a big gap here so I don't know if maybe it's going to end up bleeding because it's not going to get enough heat in this area. I suppose I can always turn it a little bit um, to maybe apply more heat to this area but I'm not sure. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it on and set it up and see how it goes. I feel like the pressure is quite good. This isn't moving so I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see how it goes. Like, ah, there we go. It's turned on. Okay, there's a lot of numbers at me right now. Okay. I'm going to turn it off again. Because <laughs> it did say we had to do something when it first started. What is this? I'm scared. It's doing things. What is that? Oh my god, this is so scary. I feel like it's just going to start a fire or something. Is it on fire? This is scary. I, I mean, obviously I know it's like working with high temperatures, but it's actually really scary. Okay, so it's on. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's settled down a little bit. I'm not entirely sure. Still smoking a little bit. I guess I'm just gonna try it now. <laughs> I'll put on my gloves because I honestly can feel the heat from this thing standing all the way back here. So, okay. 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 Uh, okay. 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 Uh, oh God. Okay. The timer's on. It's counting down from 90 seconds. There we go, it's in the machine. There's a lot of big smells coming from this machine. I honestly feel like I'm about to start a fire or something. It feels really scary, <laughs> honestly. Okay, so you've got about a minute left on it and then I guess we'll see what happens. Five seconds. Two, one, okay, oh. ah! Well, these heat gloves are good because I can't feel, an, I can only feel like a light lukewarm thing from my hands, so. I guess just hold it for a while. Um, doesn't feel that hot actually. I don't know if that's just because the gloves though, but it really doesn't feel that hot. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off because I don't need it right now and I'm scared of it. So I think it's done. I don't know how long I'm supposed to leave it for. I think I'm gonna leave this for a couple of minutes just to cool down. Hopefully that will help the design stick a bit more. I'm so nervous. Even though I know it's probably not going to have gone right first time because when does that ever happen <laughs> when you're trying something new, but still. Right, this is after me watching tutorials and after doing what the manual said for the machine. So I'm hoping it might have worked a little bit or like at least have some decent results. I just have this feeling that it just didn't transfer at all and it just didn't work like at all. <laughs> it didn't work at all. I don't know what the hell that means then. <laughs> Unless it wasn't hot enough, I guess. I might try it without the butcher paper. I know I've already yeah, kind of yeah. fricked it up, but I'm gonna try without the butcher paper because, okay, I didn't show you guys. It literally didn't come off at all. There was a black smudge on there. I'm wondering if maybe the butcher paper makes it a little bit too, like it, it makes it hard for the heat to get to the thing. I'm just gonna try again and just see how it goes. Um, hopefully without the butcher paper, it'll make it a little bit better. Even if it's like got ghosting and everything on, that was like, I can't even tell. It was literally, there was just like a slight black smudge on it. The, the um, ink had not come off at all. So I'm wondering if maybe it just wasn't hot enough. It didn't feel that hot when I took it out. So maybe it just needs, I don't know, maybe I just need to have no butcher paper and a, a lot tire of a setting. I'm really not that sure. I'm going to look at the user manual and see if it has any tips or a guide or whatever to what happened there. Okay, well apparently people are saying three minutes. My machine said 90 seconds. My machine says 90 seconds though. Yeah, time, 90 seconds. I could try it. Let me just quickly, while this is heating up again, I'm just gonna go quickly um, consult my tutorial guide people. <laughs> they did it really well. So I'm just gonna go see how long they had it on for and stuff. I just thought the user manual for the machine would know how long it needs. <laughs> so one of the people in the tutorial had it on about the same air temperature as I did, but they had it on for like 140 seconds. So I'm gonna give that a go. Hope for the best, see what happens. I did tighten it a little bit with like the back there. It just took a tiny little bit to see if maybe more pressure helped as well. I'm gonna put it over here for now. It doesn't seem that hot though. I don't know if it's just cooling down really quickly, but it doesn't seem that hot. I'm gonna take the tape off. I'm not sure about this, honestly. I don't think this is a, um, nope. See, there's like a slight, look, what does that mean? There's like a slight black mark on there. Okay, I'm just turning it up. 180 seconds at 355 for the temperature. I'm gonna put it in this side. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. 
just slide it around like here and I'm gonna tighten it a little bit and I'm gonna press that in it is definitely hotter than last time I'll say that much I don't know whether I take it off yet or not I feel better about this one <gasps> No way! Did it? I can't. I can't get it off. I put. I put way too much tape on here. No. Oh. <laughs> kind of screwed up at the end there. I think that means when it goes like red and orange, it's burnt. Probably because I put it in about five times. Maybe I don't know. The rest of them though. I wish I could like. I wish I. <laughs> I can't really touch it because it's still pretty hot. But like, I wonder what happened there. I think actually it looks like a lot of it, the ink didn't come off at the end. What I heard a lot of people saying was you want a lot of space around here. That's what I that's why I, I thought when I first uh, put it in like I've put the design too close to the cup handle because obviously it doesn't shut all the way. A lot of people said you have to have quite a bit of space in between the cup handle and the design so I think it didn't have enough heat to transfer properly and that's why I have this weird like kind of red ghosty effect so I think I just need to make sure that the design isn't gonna be where the gap is in the machine but it did come off it did work apparently never never ever trust the user manual I feel like I have to try it again now just one more time to see if that works that's really exciting. I am a little worried though because now I'm not sure how the settings, like what settings I should use for the skinny tumbler and the glass soda cans that I have. This is gonna have to just be trial and error I think, but at the very, very least it did work and I'm really happy with the outcome. It looks really good. I think that's really cute. <laughs> I think what I might do as well with this design, it's good because I can see it on the actual cup. I feel like the cats could stand to be like a teeny little bit larger each, so it fills up a little more of the cup. Yeah! Exciting times! My very first ever sublimated mug. Okay, so we got it all done again. I've tried to keep it a little bit further away, like the design, a little bit further away from the cup, the candle this time. Uh, I have put the butch paper on again, I didn't t tie it down as tightly this time. I don't think the butch paper really needs it. I hope not. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Hopefully it works first time this time. I hope it works with the butch paper just because I want that little bit of peace of mind when it comes to using this machine that the ink isn't gonna like go everywhere and evaporate onto the machine and it's gonna cause problems. Hi guys, so it's the next day. Um, I was very, very happy with the progress that we made yesterday. Obviously it took a couple of tries and they weren't perfect, but I'm still really happy with them and I really like where it's going. I'm gonna be doing more cup designs. I've spent the morning, it is currently 12 o'clock, I've spent the morning just working on some designs, doing the designs up with the cat one. I liked it, I just kind of wanted to switch it up a little, make it a little more interesting. So I added a little bit more to the design. Let me show you guys. There it is. So I just added some little fish bones in there. I made the cats a little bit bigger, just so it's a little bit something extra, you know. Uh, and then I also finished a mushroom design. It's kind of like the mushroom tote bag again, except it's just a little bit diff different of a pattern. They will give me a few more designs to try out. I'm hoping they'll turn out better today. I squished the designs down a little bit more. Um, so width-wise, they're not as like big. So it leaves more room for near like the cup handle where the heat doesn't quite reach there. It's gonna leave a little more room. So hopefully we won't get that like little ghosty kind of thing we were getting yesterday.
Okay, so I've just finished both of them. This one's a little cool now. The other one's still cooling down. This one I think is the cat one. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, so I'm just gonna take the butcher paper off now and we're gonna have a look. Hopefully it worked. I did pull it further away from the handle as you can see. Like there's a big, at least I think that's like at least a centimeter gap on each side there. So I'm hoping that helped. No, this one didn't work. <laughs> this one wasn't hot enough. I didn't think it was, weirdly enough. I don't know if the machine hadn't heated up enough, but it wasn't the same settings as yesterday. So I'm just gonna try it again, I think. It's a little annoying, but I don't know. I don't know if this one should go back in for a bit longer then. Maybe I just didn't wait for it to heat up enough. Maybe the machine needs a little bit more time to like heat up before I put things in. I did leave it for three minutes to heat up. I don't know, it doesn't seem to have uh, done the trick this time today. So I just opened them both after having them in for another three minutes at the same temperature and for some reason it's decided like it's just not, it's not transferred at all on this side. It happened the same with the cat cup. This side was not transferring at all. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it needs more pressure then, I guess, or a higher temperature, I don't know. I didn't change anything from yesterday, so I really don't get what what happened or what's gone on. I don't know if the temperature is too high or the pressure is too little, or I don't know. That's really weird how it's kind of, it worked on like one side, but then the other side it didn't. I thought because yesterday went kind of well that it would be a little bit easier today, but it hasn't been, so I'm gonna have to keep trying, probably do another two, attempt and see what happens and see if I can try and fix it. I'm not really sure, especially this one. I don't like, I don't get what that is. It's saying it's at 155 degrees, so it can't possibly not be at that temperature. I don't think I have to, I shouldn't have to wait five, 10 minutes for it to heat up. There has to be something wrong with like the pressure or maybe the length of time it's in. Maybe I need to put it up higher. But on the bright side, I think the designs are really cute. If we ignore this side, I think this side is really cute for the mushroom cup. So on the right side, I really like the designs. I just need to get them in the cups. Okay, second attempt. I've turned the temperature up this time. I've tightened the knobs a little bit as well. So there's more pressure and it's in for longer. I haven't turned up the temperature. I think if this doesn't work, I will turn up the temperature. I just don't understand why it was working yesterday, but not today, it doesn't make much sense. Let's have a look. Are we happy here? Oh, okay, that's really singed. <laughs> that's really singed, okay. Oh, stinky. I know a lot of people were saying that this singes a little bit. I don't think it should singe that much. I think maybe this is a little too much. Maybe it was a little, like on a little too long. It does like smoke quite a lot. If any of you guys have heat presses, can you let me know if that's normal? Cause it is smoking quite a lot. Oh, this was a mushroom one. This one doesn't look like it's done though. Am I? Did I get a faulty one? Because this side doesn't seem to have like done anything and then this side's like overdone. It feels like this side of the heat press, like over on like the back, is heating up a lot more than the front. Is that supposed to happen? Am I supposed to turn them around or something? I feel like no one ever mentioned that to me, so <laughs> maybe, but I didn't do that yesterday and it worked, so I don't get what the problem is here. Yep, this ha this side has not heated up at all. What? I just don't see how that's possible, honestly. So I tried it again. Obviously you can see this side on the paper, the, the butcher paper is really burnt. This side was in, this was the side that got really burnt. Literally perfect. This side is the side that I lifted up and then had to put back down like and try again. Obviously there's ghosting on this, but I think I'd still sell that. Cause like, I mean, I know it's a bit of ghosting, but this is gonna be like one pound. I'm just literally selling them so they don't go to waste. Cause there's nothing I can't stand more than wastage. So <laughs> I'd rather it go to a home. We did try a few times like turning it and stuff. And we're not, each time I noticed the front side is getting really hot and the back side isn't. We looked through the manual and they said, it said it could be like a faulty, um, heating pad or something. So yeah, I think my machine might be faulty. I am going to get in contact with the company and ask them like if they can send me another heating pad or something because I'm really happy with like obviously the outcome, especially on this side, like that is perfect. If I can get all my cups to look like this all the way around, I didn't even get like the problem that I had last time where it was like not getting hot enough on like at the edge here. I'm gonna let it cool down and I'm gonna try again with my cat cup. 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in for like 188 ish seconds on one side and then turn it around and do it again and see how that works it also seems to be working better on the right side than it is the left side so I feel like it's a faulty machine or a faulty heating pad I'm not sure but I am gonna have to contact them about it because it seems like some parts of the machine is not heating up like the other parts are so that's a bit of an issue once again August has just been a nightmare and it has proven that it is continuing to be a nightmare for me even right at the end of August <laughs> okay hello guys so we tried it again and I did turn it on both sides this time so it worked out a lot better however the middle now isn't suddenly <laughs> uh, doing very well so we are currently about six cups down and I still haven't gotten a decent cup out of it I didn't get this on camera, but when I, the camera was turned off, me and my mum, we were talking about it. We were like kind of observing it, seeing like what's going on because this wasn't happening yesterday. I didn't ha I mean, I do feel like now I think about it, the right side yesterday, when I started putting cups on the right side, without thinking about it, I just started putting them on the right side, that they came out well and then the left side wasn't working. And now the back side isn't working and now the underneath kind of isn't working either. When we were talking about it and just kind of watching the machine, we were trying to figure out what was wrong with it, smoke started coming out of it, like a lot. We panicked and turned it off and I kind of tried to have a look to see what the hell was going on with it because that can't be right. I know yesterday it happened um, when I first turned it on, you guys will remember that. So I did get that on camera. I thought, oh, it's just turning on for the first time. It's just like, I don't know, maybe it's just, you know, for when you first turn machines like that on, they do weird things sometimes because it's the first time being powered on properly. And it did that again, but much, much worse. Like there was a lot of steam. I had a look after it cooled down to see what the hell happened. The, the pad, the cuff pad, that had like wet bubbles in it. Like it looked like it was bulging out and it was like, it looked moist. I know people don't like that word, but it, that's what it looked like. It was wet. I realized the steam isn't coming through, which I don't think like the heat isn't coming through. And I, I think that's why it's not heating up on all the sides. It seems to be like the heat's getting trapped. It literally exploded kind of, the steam. It kind of went and then loads of smoke started coming out of it. I thought it was on fire for a second. After I turned it off, I kind of got my heat gloves on and I was like poking at it. It was like wet, there was smoke coming out from behind it. I think I have a faulty machine. We have contacted them. Um, we are going to get a refund and I'm gonna buy them it again, the same one. I'm just gonna get a refund and then buy it again so it's probably gonna take a few weeks for that to happen and for me to get a new one which kind of sucks but at the same time I have a lot going on right now with my business and I feel I was starting to feel very overwhelmed so maybe it's a blessing in disguise that's how I'm choosing to look at this it does suck because I was really excited to have cups and stuff for my next market stall I do not think that's gonna happen now which is fine I guess <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. I would, I'm not gonna use a faulty machine. It's too much. Yes, I have wasted a little bit of ink and I've wasted quite a few mugs, but I, I think this machine is broken. At least, at the very least, the cup pad is broken and I think it's just, I'm gonna return it and I'm gonna get a new one and hopefully that helps. I've been looking up like advice tutorials literally everything i was i read through the whole user's manual and all i kept saying or all i kept finding was either it was the pressure which i had adjusted the pressure so many times throughout like this whole journey so i tried the pressure that didn't work and then the manual was telling me it might be like the connector to the heat pad i tried to like tightening that up that didn't help it was already really tight i think it's just broken honestly i think i've just gotten a faulty one it happens it sucks but it happens i wish i'd figured this out like you know six cups ago <laughs> and i mean it's kind of hard because it's it's coming out so perfectly on like one side and then it's like not on the other and it's like there's how can there be 
that can't be the pressure because half of it's coming out perfect and the other half is not coming out at all. So yeah, that's uh, been my adventure so far. I really, really enjoyed the process of making these sublimation mugs. I am excited to get a one that works. <laughs> There will be more sublimation videos in the future, hopefully, when I get my new machine. I'll be testing that out. Hopefully this one works. <laughs> if you want to see more business loan vlogs in the future or come along with me as I do my sublimation and get into that stuff and try all these new things, then obviously subscribe because I'm here for you every single week. That's a lie. I sometimes miss weeks, but I'm here for you most weeks. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.